Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, criminals and uh, lawmakers, and welcome to Gustav Mengstam. And today we are going to make the lawgiver from Judge Dredd, with a little bit of speciality due to you can actually remove the Glock from it, so you can use this in other prop things and don't have it locked up to this, unless you actually want to have a permanent lawgiver. So let's get going. Things you need. One uh, gun that looks like that. Model... I don't know. It looks like this. I probably should have researched that. Some different sizes of plastic pipes. One of these safety clamping over... Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, some uh, plastic sheets from whatever you have, and some uh, bit of thin uh, craft foam, and uh, some hot glue and uh, glue and stuff. So we're starting here by adapting the actual gun to the sizes that are on the screen, uh, because it will be quite accurate that way. Uh, so I'm just going to do all the little panels there, like roughly, because you have to uh, straighten them all up with a, uh, with a little bit of a yardstick uh, there, due to, uh, and also like making 80 degrees angles and so, so things will actually add up. Uh, because that's the, this is the hard part to getting everything straight from the beginning, then everything else from that will be quite easy. So. Uh, now we have done that. I have this uh, this thing that you put around ledges so you don't cut yourself on them, uh, like glass and stuff like that. I don't really know exactly what I mean, but you see, it has like um, it has a little bit of spring to it, and you also have on the inside it has two little ledges which we are going to use because the model of that particular uh, pistol has a little bit of a rail mount in front of it, which we will use to actually uh, slide this thing in there. So make sure it will be nice and tight. Uh, but that was a little bit too tight, uh, so I had to do a little bit of modifications to it also by actually cutting it up. You see, like that, putting them like so. And you see I cut a little bit extra inside there, so it will be the right size of it. And also put in the little bit of plastic pipe there, and I will then to hot glue and then hold it like that for some time. And now it will look like that. And it will slide off with a little bit of friction so it will still hold up. It, it worked very well, I must say. So, now you see I have done that. Now I will take this uh, pipe that I have cut on the long side there um, to make a half pipe. And then make sure it is measured uh, exactly the same everywhere because that's very important. Uh, then I will now take this little pipe here and uh, drill out some holes from the uh, EVA floor mat and then cut it in half and glue it on the inside there. Um, make sure so you have a little bit of a cut uh, in the front eye side so it actually can slide off and on. Otherwise it will just be stuck there, which will be a little bit of a problem. So now I have cutting out this side template here. Make sure it will be very straight forward like that uh, and that is going to be glued to the uh, to the yellow part in front there and also there. now this part is a little bit too big uh, but that is because it's better to make it too big so you can do some adjustments than make it smaller and you will have a lot of problem because you have to redo the whole part so that's a little bit of sa extra safety plastic sheet on the side there. you see now I'm testing it here, um, but of course I'm still going to have to do a little bit of adjustments here, like cutting that part off, which was too long, but now I know it will be straight and it will look okay. And uh, now also we will uh, take... This is a very optional thing, because I thought about doing it like that, and then I... Uh, well. Uh, did a little different solution. You see where we have the barrel there, it's just sticked in there right now as it is. But having filler here and then shape it around uh, so it will look like it properly do. Uh, there are multiple pictures and versions of the gun, even in the movie itself. Uh, so 
Well, you have to choose your 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 design. Basically because some is more like six edged and one is more like rounded like this I do here. But anyway, uh, you still see that it looks like a lawgiver. Quite a lot like a lawgiver. So let's do it now. You see I cut out uh, the little bit of template there from one other side. Because we are going to do the little magazine things coming in there. So it's very good to have these parts finished to just uh, adapt it to it. And also I have now glued together the part uh, in front there, so it will now fit properly for the for the sliding function there. So you see, just pushing with my thumb in the back there, um, some little glue leaked, so I just have to remove that, but otherwise it worked very fine. So you see, now we have cut out the little uh, magazine hole here. Which is a bit of this black plastic sheet I have here is uh, from one of the the toolboxes I had. So, and this is from the the old mech costume and some spare parts from that. If you remember that belt. Anyway, look it up otherwise. But you see, now we're going to drill a little hole there so you can have some little bit of carving and then carve out the little squared holes like that. To make sure that this uh, craft foam sheet here will be bended over in the correct way and also line up with the front part there. So now I'm just gonna glue it all there and wrap it there and wait till it uh, has um, the glue has set. Make sure measure many many times. So and then I have folded over on the other side also and now we are going to make a little bit of the detail part there on the side uh, part there. We also just have cut out a template from the um, from the paper and then you know redo everything with parts up top of it like this little screen thing there. I don't have make a display for it um, that will probably be some future thing. But uh, anyway so now I just have made all these little small details on this and glue it on um, now we are going to attach all the little parts here. Uh, basically it is, you are going to have to do the, the same thing but mirrored on the other side. So I'm not going to film that because, well, that's kind of self-explanatory. So, you see, now I have drawn out the little uh, lines there, which uh, I'm later going to do a little cut here. But it's very important that everything will line up properly like it is like that. Also very easy to glue it back like on it. But now we're gonna take a very very sharp little razor pen here to cut out a little uh, side vent things here on the gun. It's very nice and take off all the little extra things there. And also do the little side parts there. It's a lot of ventilation in this gun, apparently it gets super hot when you're firing it into people's faces, because I didn't know there were so many ways to shoot people in the face before I saw this movie. Anyway, now just make a little, little, little cut there, because they will open up when we put the heat gun to this thing. And also cut up the on top of thing, barrel, whatever. Um, this gun makes sense and also doesn't make sense. It's a movie gun, so don't put too much thought into it. Anyway, so now we're gonna make the magazine here. And the templates make it a little bit uh, straighter up because it's going to the the edge is going to be inside of that uh, thing I cut that you see on top there. So now when we have fixed that, we are going to take a little strip pair of uh, of uh, EVA uh, formats here and cut it so it will fit. So you see, I'm just cutting so the bend will be the part of that, so you don't have the very sharp edge. Well, you see what I'm doing there. Yeah. And then uh, now we are going to make the little fake bullets. You can also use real casings for things like that. But I had this uh, little scraps there. This is going to be loose because we're going to take out and paint them. Now, there's a little bit of craft foam as a detailer. And it looks fantastic. And now everything is going to be disassembled here. Oh, before we do that, we are going to heat treat the whole thing here. So all the little little um, lines will open up. And now we're going to glue everything in place there. 
uh, that I put out. Very good. Put out. Oh, I ran out of battery there on my microphone. Anyway, uh, so uh, we are going to glue everything back. Uh, and now I'm going to make this little detail here, which is a very weird sight, which I take this little part of a of a uh, ink pencil I have there, and just put a little bit of uh, craft foam on it, and then glue it back on. And now we are going to disassemble everything that is going to be painted. Uh, so the magazine is just friction fitted there, and it still it still isn't glued together yet because we will do that when we are fill it with the painted bullets. So now we are going to do, uh, go and do that. And it's a flat uh, black paint and uh, also the, the silver paint on the bullets there. But that's basically it. Um, and now we're going to glue it into the gun there. Now, uh, we are going to make a little bit of metal parts here and also a little bit of distressing. And I mean a little bit. Don't fucking overdo this because it will look comedic almost uh, because that's something that many prop makers do that they overdo on the distressing part except for that little hole in there because it was a hole in the plastic so I used that to my advantage and now we will just slip in the gun here and now we will have a very very nice lawgiver here I built this in two days and uh, so that's what it is and I uh, hope you appreciate this little video so so, there we go. It's not really an exact replica of the Lawgiver from the 2012 uh, Dread movie, but it uh, it looks uh, close enough and you can put a lot of effort to making a replica of this, but this is just a very practical idea to have a, just a slip-on uh, slip Lawgiver. But uh, thank you for watching.